Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another One Piece video. Today, we're gonna be going over and looking at everything we know about the Mother Flame, and I'm gonna be making some predictions about what this thing could be, what it could be doing, what it means for the story going forward, and everything like that. So, before we get started, if you guys could, please don't forget to leave a like down below and subscribe. It helps out the channel so much. It's so, it helps show my videos to even more One Piece fans and we get to make even more One Piece content. So we start off in chapter 1060 or episode 1089 of the anime where a bunch of the Marines are freaking out. They're trying to find Sabo's location and all that. And they find out he's on the Lucia because he's not using one of those transponder snails that blocks like where your location is. So they find out where he is. They're all freaking out. You can see in the anime, they're freaking out. They say, there's no white transponder snail jamming. It's an emergency. Call then. He'll hang up soon. Successful trace. Where is he? Say the five elders, the kingdom of the Lucia, the Lucia. My word, they say. And then a bunch of other things happen. We see the five others talking a little bit. We see Dragon and Ivankov talking. And then we cut back to the Lucia, where a bunch of dark clouds are coming in, forming over the top of, a, of it. We then cut back to Pangea Castle, where we see Eam standing in front of a map, where they just cross an X on top of the Lucia. And then we get a speech from presumably the five elders, but it's probably given to them from Eam. They say, communications, listen to me. You do not detect anything today. You did not intercept anything. The kingdom of the Lucia, that country, never existed in the first place. And then you could see a bunch of laser beams launched down on top of the island. And then actually in episode 1089, we just got this animated. So you can see it actually looks really amazing in the anime. I actually thought that maybe something happened with the island where they were like were launched down and like they were like trapped at the bottom of the ocean and they were actually still alive but looking at the anime and looking at the manga again it looks like no the island is destroyed the island is gone there is like a giant hole in the ocean now and that island is actually completely wiped off the face of the map and the face of the world too now if you're an anime only watcher this is the only time and the last time that the mother flame is brought up in the story if you don't care about spoilers and stuff like that, definitely stay tuned. I'm going to be going over what we know about the Mother Flame that's been brought up in the manga a couple other times. And then I'm going to be going over my predictions about what I think it is and stuff like that. But if you don't want any spoilers, click off the video right now. Uh, come back in like a month or two when the anime is caught up to the manga as of the point it's right now. I think we're at um, chapter 1107. So when you see that the anime is getting kind of close to 1107, click back on, watch this video. But if you don't care about that... Definitely stay with me. We're going to be going in a deep dive on the Mother Flame. Before we get back into the Mother Flame, I just want to go over something that Lilith talked about in Chapter 1065. I feel like this is going to have a lot to do with the Mother Flame because it's, you know, called something with the flame. And here she's talking about flames being used as energy. She says to us, this island's power source is fire. Fire can be converted into all types of energy. I have long researched what can be burned for energy. I thought if only there was such thing as a undying flame. We could create our own sun. So you can see there, one of the Vegapunks, Lilith, is looking to try to create her own sun. And that could be what the Mother Flame is. I'm going to be going into that later in the video, but it's something that I feel like the Mother Flame is one of those inventions that Vegapunk makes that doesn't really have its intended purpose. You know, sometimes like the light beam goes on and attracts fireflies or he creates Momonosuke's fruit and it turns him pink instead of blue like Kaido's. And so it's a failure. And I think that the failure of this one is that the lightning beams are actually energy that's supposed to be stored inside this giant creation, but instead it can't hold it all and it bursts down into the earth. But we'll talk about that more as we get into the, um, into what we know more about the mother flame. After chapter 1065, the next time we hear about the mother flame is in chapter 1086, where Vegapunk and the Gorosei are trying to figure out where they want to use it. In this chapter, we actually find out that it wasn't the fact that Sabo was on the Lucia that they wanted to use it. It's the fact that it was close. So Sabo being on it was just, I think the Gorosei say at some point, it was just destiny that he was on there. They weren't actually trying to hit him. They were trying to just use this invention of Vegapunks on an island that was close so they can like see the results. You know what I mean? So Eam says to the five elders, I wish to use Vegapunk's creation, the Mother Flame. Indeed, we will not know if it is real until it is tested, says one of the five elders. Perhaps the results of such a test might influence our handling on the egghead matter, says another. A test on a forested land would do better than open sea, suggests the bald-headed one. And then Eam chimes in and says, Lelucia Kingdom. And then Saturn says, There are many people there. It is no matter. Very well. The world is as the creator wills it. 
Why do you choose Lelucia, they ask Eam. And then, like I said, Eam just says, it is close. So Eam doesn't even care about all these people. Eam is probably the worst person in the entire One Piece story. They do not care about people's lives, but they head this organization that's supposed to protect people. So at least Blackbeard and all these other pirates are saying that they don't care about people and killing people. These guys say they care about everybody, trying to protect them, and they're just wiping off the citizens off the face of the earth. So these guys are terrible, terrible people. Later in chapter 1086, we cut into a meeting between Ivankov, Dragon, and Sabo, where they're talking about this mother flame. And Sabo says to us, a great shadow covered the entire sky. And in the very next moment, something that no natural living creature could explain, some dark, vast thing flew above the clouds. Sabo, you said the name Eam earlier. That's right. Well, this is going to sound very strange, but among the first 20 who created the world 800 years ago, there was a monarch named St. Eam of the Nerona dynasty. If you guys want to see anything about Eam, I made a whole video about them. About them, You can check it out right in the corner right there. And then we skip ahead a little bit, and then Ivankov says, And there's one more wild leap in this story, my boy. If this thing you saw fly over the clouds and destroy an entire nation was a government weapon, then only Vegapunk could have created it. And then Dragon tries to chime in. He says, Hold on, Eva. Vegapunk would not build such an obvious tool of murder. And then Ivankov says back, But what if it were an ancient weapon? And if Eam were alive since the ancient times, it all links up. Dragon says, Robin told us that the ancient weapons are real. But if the government is, is in possession of a weapon, why have they not used it before? And why have they used it now? So from this chapter, you can see that the five elders in Vegapunk haven't used this mother flame before. And they haven't had access to it before because... They would have used it in other places and they were just like, I want to test it out, see if it's real, see if Vegapunk actually made it real. So what I think they're saying here is that this mother flame is something that Vegapunk created, but he created it from the mother flame, like, or from the ancient weapon. Because don't forget, Vegapunk was researching the Void Century, so he probably was able to find the blueprints for this uh, ancient weapon. We know where the blueprints for P uh, Pluto and we know where the... Um, the uh, location for Poseidon is, that's in Skypea, and I think the uh, the blueprints for Pluton were with Frankie and Water 7, and then they were also someone in Al somewhere in Alabasta. So, with all that, um, Vegapunk probably found the last blueprints for this last ancient weapon, and was able to decipher them somehow, because, you know, he's really smart, and he probably had a way to decipher this ancient code, and maybe some people on the uh, LBAF know how to uh, decipher it as well, they've been around since Roger, maybe someone was on Roger's crew or something like that, and they were there, or maybe someone was like, taught it like you know because in wano people are being taught it through generation to generation like the sh the uh it's not the shogun it's the um oh never mind it is shogun i was right i wasn't wrong sorry my bad it was shogun so the shogun of wano it learns this um language as the generations go by momonosuke wasn't taught it because he went forward in time and all this stuff happened so he was supposed to be taught it but he wasn't taught it so now he's being taught it by his grandfather so that's being passed out from Generation of Wano, so why can't something like that be going on in Elbaf? And even if it's not, like I said, Vegapunk's smart, so he probably was able to decipher this Poneglyph and figure out the blueprints for this final, final thing. And when he found it, he was able to uh, make it enough to where it was good. But as we know, Vegapunk doesn't make everything perfect, so there's going to be some kind of flaw with this weapon. And then also, if you guys don't remember, after York was captured by like the Straw Hats and everybody and she was calling the five elders to try to get them to save her, they were talking about how she sent them like a sample or something. They were saying to each other, York, we have changed our minds. Are you able to create the Mother Flame too? Oh, so now you'll play along. Yes, I'm not surprised you want it. I'm glad I sent it to you. Yes, it is desired. Desired? By who? Anyway... The power plant that creates it is on this island, so promise me you won't hurt me or the lab. Understood. And make me a celestial dragon! It will be done. Then you've got a deal. And the first thing I want you to do is... Come save me before Straw Hat Luffy kills me! And then you can see there, there's everybody, she's on the ground. Zoro's got his straw, uh, sword over here. And then we got Usopp, they were doing this call on purpose to try to get them here and try to bait them. So, it seems like there's two case scenarios for this Mother Flame. One, it's a single-use type of weapon, where as soon as you use it, it's done, you can't use it again. Uh, maybe this is because, like I said, it's the energy source, and what it does is it tries to store all this energy, like, enough to store, like, the sun, but it can't hold it all, so it, like, kind of bursts out of it, and after it bursts out, it's destroyed, so it can't be used anymore, or maybe Vegapunk, or maybe, like, just how it was made, it was only made to be, like, a one-time use thing, and you can't use it again, you gotta make a new one, 
Or it just could be that um, York sent over like a sample or something and it was only supposed to be a one-time use thing. And if they allow her to be in the Celestial Dragons, then she's able to create like a, a ultimate use one. So there's a couple different ways it can go. I think that as of right now, it's a one-time use thing. As soon as you use it, it's destroyed. You can't use it again. So that's why they need to keep creating more and, until they create like, maybe that's the flaw of it. You know, Vega, like I said earlier, Vegapunk's inventions kind of have a flaw to them. So maybe that's the flaw of this one is it's a one-time use. As soon as you use it once, it's destroyed. You can't use it again. So York is just going to have to keep making them or Vegapunk's going to have to keep making them for the world government in order for them to use it. So right now they don't have any more. They use their one turn or whatever. Maybe they have a couple more maybe it's not one turn maybe it's like two or three but i as of right now i think it's one turn so they use their one go with it and now they can't use it again for a little while and if they haven't had this invention in a long time i don't know what happened with um any slobby maybe that was 800 years ago and i don't know what happened with god valley maybe that was just something where like it wasn't this invention that knocked it off the face of the earth it was just like they they went in with like a big buster call and they just destroyed the island and like flattened it and stuff like that. So I don't know if they had this technology all the way back when Roger was alive because they would have used it. I feel like if Eam was alive and they had this technology and they wanted to get rid of all this stuff, they would have used it back then. So I don't know how they got rid of God Valley. I don't know how they did all this other stuff, but they don't have unlimited uses of this mother flame they need york to create more for them one thing i forgot to mention that's really important about this mother flame is the effect it actually has on the entire world when they destroy an island it doesn't actually just affect the people on the island yes it does kill and destroy and de like like de demolish the entire island but it also raises the water level and causes tsunamis and other stuff around the one piece universe after they used the Mother Flame on the Lucia, the narrator went around showing us different parts of the One Piece world. They show the East Blue, everyone's freaking out, they're going, ah, it's an earthquake. They show the South Blue, there's a tsunami on the way, get the high ground. And then the narrator comes in and says, the earthquake on this day had no parallel in recorded history. It caused destruction on a vast worldwide scale. The epicenter was impossible to pinpoint, making it a most anomalous seismic event. Perhaps it was unrelated. But the quake happened just six days after the vanishing of the kingdom of Lelucia. And then you can see someone calls Eam and tells them that they've arrived. They tell Eam, I'm here at the remains of Lelucia kingdom. There's no trace of the land anymore. Just an enormous hole at the sea that waterfalls are pouring into. Any further approach is impossible. There is no sign of the hole filling up. And then the narrator comes back in and says, The earthquake caused the worldwide sea level to rise by one meter. It triggered the loss of several beaches around the world, as well as several islands. And then you can see it shows Kamabaka Kingdom. It shows um, Luffy's Windmill Village. It shows a bunch of different types of villages and stuff like that. They're all being affected. They basically have no more beaches anymore. The water rose by one meter. So... It's not just this island that this weapon is affecting, it's the whole world. So the more the world government uses it, the more the world is going to be affected. And Eam and the Five Elders do not care. They do not care about the world. They don't care about the people. All they care about themselves is themselves and their greed. Because Mary Joa is way, way up there on the red line. So even if they raise the water level, they're fine until they do it like probably like you know what they could probably do it unlimited times? They can, they're never going to reach the top of the red line. So they don't care about any of the people. They can sink all those islands. All they care about is that they survive. So as of chapter 1108, which is the last chapter that has come out as of this video, there has been no more mention of the Mother Flame. They haven't talked about it. They haven't showed it, anything like that. It was just shown in the anime, like I said, episode 1089. That was awesome. Definitely go check that out. Um, I had a couple clips in this video of it, but there has been no other mention of the Mother Flame. So everything I'm going to say forward is going to be pure speculation and theory and everything like that. So the most basic explanation on what the Mother Flame could be is that it's just the ancient weapon you're in. It's just the ancient weapon. It's that that's a big deal, but that's the most basic theory is that it's just this ancient weapon and that Vegapunk was able to get his hands on either the blueprints, maybe somebody had them left over from Elbaf, or maybe he found a Poneglyph and he was able to decipher it because he's really smart and he put all of his effort into deciphering it. And as soon as he did, he got these blueprints and then made this weapon. And then he he kept it to himself because he didn't want to expose it to the world because he knew the danger and the power that it held. So that's one of the theories. And that's just the most basic because, you know, Eva brought it up how... Um, uh, Eam is one of these people from the ancient kingdom and how this could be an ancient weapon and it definitely could be because if you think about it Poseidon's in the ocean and then Pluton is a is a uh, ship it, I don't really remember the correlation between Pluton and ships but then Uranus would be like in the sky I think that would be Zeus or something like that so it kind of matches up with Poseidon and Uranus and it could definitely be something like that but I would think that 
maybe it would go more along like Poseidon's a person, Pluton's a planet. I was kind of thinking that maybe because Pluton, if you remember back when Straw Hats were on um, uh, Skypea, there was that ancient, uh, not ancient, but it was that like ghostly figure that went and fixed the ship. So maybe that figure was the person that created Pluton originally and they like had their spirits left behind and that's why Pluton is so important because that spirit follows it around and follows around other ships. So maybe that's the Pluton and then Uranus is also a person slash object. So I feel like there has to be a person to go along with the object as well. I, I'm not 100% on that. It could just be a plain object like a weapon that destroy, like shoots laser from the sky, but I don't know. I'll probably make another uh, video about the ancient weapons and everything like that. My other theory about what this weapon, the Mother Flame, could be, like I said earlier in the video, is that it's a failed experiment by Lilith and Vegapunk. She was talking about how she wanted to create a generator that was powerful enough, like it's like they had their own son here on the island, and it would be able to generate enough power, but she hadn't figured it out yet. But you know the Vegapunks, they're not just going to like say something and then not try to invent it. As soon as they think it in their head, that's what they're going to try to do. So as soon as Lilith thought this, she definitely went into work to try to make it a reality, and she did figure something out. She made some kind of creation that was able to store energy, but the more energy it stored, the less capable it, be, uh, it became and the more fragile it was and it just destroys itself and it blasts that energy out in all different directions and it just causes mayhem. So they kind of put that aside. But York having the same mind as everybody was able to see that and go in and be like, okay, this can be used as a weapon. If I give this to the five elders, maybe they'll do something for me. She knew it was a single use type of thing. She knew it wasn't going to last. She knew that it was going to have everlasting effects in the world and she still gave it up to the five elders and to Eam. And she doesn't even know who Eam is. If you can see back when she was talking with the five elders, she's like, who desires it? Who? Eam desires it, but nobody knows who Eam is. Not even Vegapunk, it seems like. Vegapunk doesn't even know about Eam, which is crazy. The smartest man in the world doesn't even know that this one person stands at the top. But Sabo does. Sabo does, and that's why Sabo is going to be so, so important. I'll make a video about Sabo coming up soon. Another thing that was brought up a lot when this was first revealed was that it could be Eam's devil fruit, but... Like I said, as it turns out, it's not. It's an invention by the Vegapunks given to the Five Elders and Eames. So it's not a devil fruit. Maybe it was a devil fruit back in the day. And that's kind of how Vegapunk came up with the idea of it. He's like, okay, there was this devil fruit. And I can kind of turn that into my own invention. Kind of how like he turned Kizaru's lasers into his own invention with the pacifistas. So maybe he took that uh devil fruit and he turned it into the mother flame but i don't think so i don't think it has anything to do with devil fruits it might maybe it does but as far as we can tell right now it doesn't but yeah there's not really much else that this mother flame could be yeah it could just be like a normal weapon that vegapunk created and it was able to just you know destroy planets like that it has nothing to do with the mother flame has nothing to do with the gener and not the mother flame has nothing to do with uranus has nothing to do with the generations the plano weapon it could be that but that's kind of boring i don't think or oda would do that it could be something else where like it, it like draws in moisture from the clouds and stuff and then uses that kind of thing uh maybe that is what uranus is it draws in moisture and stuff like that so we don't know yet hopefully we get it revealed soon 10 uh, 1109 is going to be coming out very soon and that's going to be going crazy i can't wait to see that but uh as of 1108 this is all we know about the mother flame and i think we have a pretty good idea of what it could be but it's definitely not eames devil fruit that was one thing that i saw when this first dropped was that it could be eames devil fruit this is the eames devil fruit reveal he uh they had the super powerful devil fruit nope it's not a devil fruit it's just a weapon created by york slash vega punk that was given to these five elders uh, we don't. We actually don't even know if it's a weapon. It could just be something that is able to become a weapon somehow. What do you guys think? Is the Mother Flame the ancient weapon Uranus, or is it some kind of other weapon? Maybe something else. Maybe a generator, like I said. What do you think? Let me know down in the comments below. And also, while you're down there, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Like I said in the beginning, it helps out the video so much. Helps show my videos to even more One Piece fans, and we get to make even more One Piece content. Also, if you guys could. Don't forget to hit the bell. It helps show your show you my videos as soon as I drop them. And then if you click on them, it helps show my videos to even more people as well. So don't forget to click that if you like my videos. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.